Hello and welcome back to VideoJug's Top Tips for Underwater Videography. In part one, we spoke about how to look after yourself and your kit, as well as giving you a bit of advice on that all-important colour control. Now we're going to step up a gear and get you really thinking like a proper movie maker. Tip six, filming movement. Filming movement is an important skill to give your videos variety. And this is where we come to the zoom. After bad image stability, the most common fault in underwater video is the overuse of this effect. Excessive use of the zoom is called tromboning. Used sparingly, a zoom can add emphasis to the subject, as can moving alongside your subject. This is called tracking and involves moving whilst filming at 90 degrees to your direction of travel. It allows you to explore a scene or follow a subject with the subject distance constant. Remember, never track a subject from behind. There's nothing more boring than the back end of a fish. Avoid hose piping at all costs. This is where you try and follow a swimming fish as it moves around the reef. This will only induce seasickness in your viewer. Instead, try varying your shots. Tip seven, vary your shots. When shooting underwater creatures, it's necessary to film from a variety of perspectives. Each sequence within a film should be filled with a variety of shots, angles and action. For example, wide angle shots are great when used as establishing shots, but when used exclusively, they create nothing but boredom. Your film could have the tendency to become one long succession of sewn together clips. While actually filming, remember to mix up the types of shots you're taking. Get those wide angle shots, but don't forget the close up. Tip eight, pay attention to composition. Attention to composition is as important underwater as it is topside. However, underwater, the angle that one shoots at is probably an even more important consideration. It's always best to try to shoot marine creatures from slightly underneath. This provides both size and depth to the creature. When one shoots downward on a fish, the entire picture tends to flatten out. Tip nine, film the action. When filming marine life, it's always more impressive to film a type of behavior than to simply film the fish itself. Filming the fish doing nothing but swimming creates a dull moving snapshot. It's better to film that wrasse territorially swimming around the rocky reef. A busy red mullet burrowing through the sand for small crustaceans is most definitely more interesting than one just swimming past. Yes, filming an octopus is nice, but shooting that same octopus prowling around his reef is the behavior that will impress in the finished film. Tip 10, practice. Like most things done well, filming underwater videos requires a great deal of time, patience and practice. Read dive magazines and instruction manuals, or even better, take a course to sharpen up your skills. But that's it for now. Have fun when you next make a splash using VideoJug's top tips for underwater videography.